human bodies. Welcome to Abstergo TV YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna show you how to convert your HDD or SSD from MBR to GPT and change your BIOS from legacy BIOS to UEFI BIOS without any data loss. I think I'm the first one to do it without taking help of any other softwares. Yes you heard it right. We will not use any third-party software during this whole process. So without wasting any more time, let's begin. At first click on start button and type MS Info 32 to open system information. This will show you your current BIOS mode. For me, currently it's in legacy BIOS. So to move from legacy BIOS to UEFI BIOS, we have to first convert our HDD from MBR to GPT. So let's do it. Now right click on start button and click on disk management. Disk 0 is the HDD or SSD where your operating system is installed. Right click on disk 0 and go to properties. Then go to volumes tab and you can see that currently my HDD partition style is MBR. So at first let's convert our partition style to GPT. Click on Start button and search CMD. Right click on Command Prompt and run it as Administrator. Don't worry all the codes I'm going to enter will be provided in our video description menu. So you can just copy it from there. Type mbr2gpt.exe slash validate slash allow full OS. This will show you whether your HDD is ready to be converted from MBR to GPT or not. If your validation is failed, it means you are having a different type of partition in your HDD such as EXT4 partition. Just delete the partition and redo this step to successfully pass this step. So right now our validation is successfully completed. Now type the code or just copy this code from video description menu and hit enter button. This will begin to convert your HDD or SSD from MBR to GPT partition style. There you can see that EFI partition is successfully created. Now the conversion completed successfully. In the next line, it's written that failed to update reagent XML file. Just ignore this error. Now reboot your PC to your BIOS setup mode. Do not boot to Windows. I repeat, do not boot to Windows. Boot to your BIOS mode. After you see this black screen, tap your boot menu key rapidly. In my case, F12 is the boot menu key. And in your case, it could be any other key. Go to Enter Setup option to open your BIOS. Every motherboard have different style of BIOS, but the features inside it are probably same in all. Now find your boot menu order and set the first boot order as UEFI hard disk or SSD. The number 500 stands for 500 gigabytes hard disk in my case. You can rearrange your boot menu order in your way, but make sure UEFI hard disk is set for the first boot menu order. This is the UEFI HDD, set it to your first boot order. Also set your operating system type as UEFI only, it will make it sure that your PC will boot with UEFI BIOS mode.
Also make sure that secure boot option is disabled so at the end, save and exit your BIOS mode, and your PC will boot with UEFI BIOS mode. You can see Windows is successfully booting. The first boot will take a few minutes because Windows is setting up things for our new UEFI mode. After your first boot, you just need to reboot your PC once. Now let me show you that, we have successfully switched our BIOS from Legacy to EFI mode. Here you can see in BIOS mode it's showing you EFI. And also let me show you that, our HDD partition style is converted from MBR to GPT. I hope this video helped you my dear human bodies. Please make sure to like, share and must subscribe to support our poor YouTube team. So for now, goodbye, stay safe, stay at home and say goodbye to COVID-19. See you all in our next amazing video. This is Julie from Team Abstergo, signing out.